Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to try and show you how to change the actuator on a KO4 turbo, uh, so on the O22 or the O23, um, whilst the turbo is still in situ. Um, let's see if this is going to work, see if I can show you. So I'm at the point where I've already taken it off and I thought, oh, these might be useful for people to see. So yeah, uh, this is the donor turbo. So the actuator usually is like that. You've got two turbo bolts that go into there. Um, into there and then there's also where it sits through so I'm trying to do this one handed where it sits through there so there's normally another nut the other side of that so I've just backed the nut off left that one in place so that I can just tighten it back up to this one and it'll be set correctly um, but anyway so yeah the issue that you have if we look down here is that you have to take off the coolant banjo bolt and take the coolant line out of the way because uh, as you can probably tell from that image when the 10mm bolt comes out it fouls this so I've had to use I can't find anything I've put down so I've had to use ball ended 8mm allen key and that can just see from this angle it just gets in the sort of that angle there doing the bolt back up is going to be tricky uh make sure you get new crush washers for that uh, but yeah basically that's that's really it so the issue that we had with this one and whether you can see that no, no way of showing you this but if you can hear that You notice that bit there. If I hold that there and then move it upside down, there you go. So you can see that moving. I look like a right idiot doing this. Um, whereas obviously this one doesn't do that. So I can only assume that that is why we've got a fluctuation and a rattle during boost. Because something's not sealing right in here. So, yeah, we can get rid of that one. Um, yeah, so that really is it. So you can see from this position here, the, the access restrictions that you're going to be dealt, dealing with. Um, so you've got to get the crush washer back underneath there and then get your banjo bolt back in there. But it does clear just, so obviously get your new actuator back on. It's fiddly, you've got one hole there, the other hole is all the way down here. It's tricky to get to, but it is doable in situ without having to drop the turbo. So I hope that helps. Um, I hope this fixes the problem that we've got today, uh, but it seems likely that it should do. Um, yeah, uh, good luck if you need to take on this job.